What's up everyone? I'm the Devastating Just Cause and this is DJC Game Studios. Ow. Alright, that's enough of that. Welcome to the show and another episode of Is It Worthy for the Intellivision Amico? Yes, I believe this is. I really do believe it is. And this game is... Pardon? This game is Theme Park. I remember Theme Park on the 3DO back in like 1990s. I don't remember. It was a cool... You basically built a carnival um, and you had to watch your finances. What? I feel bad for Art Big Fall, so I bought one of his t-shirts, okay? Moving on. So. Did you think it was frozen? Just kidding. So I got into uh, Theme Park back in the 90s, like I said. Well, actually recently during the lockdown, I got back into it. I have a 3DO, so I played some Theme Park. My favorite thing ever was to make Outhouse World. So, you know, in Theme Park, you basically build a a uh, you know trails and and then you put rides on the trails you put you hire uh different uh like people that'll fix rides you hire uh uh what faculty people that'll like sweep up you know like like little janitor people you hire little mascots that jump around and little elephants that are like come on to the theme park and all that type of stuff and it's funny but you also have to build bathrooms and everything so what i did is what I used to love to do is still build a really nice theme park and everybody's like, we gotta go to the bathroom because they have little bubbles above their head that shows how they're feeling. And uh, so I would do it like a mile long trail that went all around the edge of the theme park, wound around, came back this way, went all the way, and then it went all the way out to the corner with one outhouse. <laughs> but back to outhouse world. One time, you know, the buses are dropping them off at the front of the theme park. You got all the, pe all the little mascots like the pandas and the teddy bears and the giant elephants and the rhinoceroses going welcome to the theme park come on in and you walk in it's this long <laughs> trail for the entrance and then it goes to this like almost looks like a subdivision of nothing but outhouses lined and that's the end of the theme park <laughs> outhouse world i think i called it poop world <laughs> poop world Anyways, Poop World was fun, but what I'm getting back to is this is a casual game for people that don't... don't bloop, 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 bloop. Thanks, Muppets. That don't normally play video games, and that's kind of like... I think the Amico could really uh, capitalize on something like a theme park. Designing your own theme park. You know, uh, even it, it got to the point where your beverage stands, you know, you'd have like... Like you'd have like the, uh, the lemon ice, you know, stand. So if it was super hot out you would totally could make like a fortune you could sell these lemon ices for like like 10 bucks a pop right so it was kind of cool how you you and you would go through seasons and then you'd have to see what how much you put in is how much profit you got back out then you could build more rides and i thought it'd be sweet because you got rides i mean imagine like you got like the calypso the spider the scrambler remember the himalaya that went like this but just in a circle and it played heavy metal 80s rock music or maybe it was just because it was the 80s when I remember it mostly from. Yeah, but I listened to many of Guns N' Roses songs on the Himalaya. Because you you felt like you were... And you'd always smash one person all the way to the side. Remember the Gravitron where you'd stick to the wall? Stuff like that. <laughs> hey, maybe you can get licenses too. This is how you go. you go. You go to the people that own the licenses of these carnival rides. You go, I'd like to get the licenses. Oh, what am I doing? It's not how you do it. They kick you right out. But I think theme park would be awesome, or something similar, a, a, a carnival creation uh, game for Intellivision Amico. I think the Amico fans would love this. I think the Amico audience that they're basing this off of, also, 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 that they're <laughs> going towards would love this. Um, stuff like this, because you think stuff like Farmville and Bejeweled, and I, I'm, am I making this all... Anyways, I might date myself saying these games. Candy Crush, stuff like that. Are, are kind of these random kind of whether mobile or just like um, games that people that don't normally pay games play. <laughs> Got that out. But I'm thinking something like this, a theme park 
game. A game, and I just remember Theme Park for 3DO. Like I said, I'm sure it was on computer and a bunch of other systems. It was kind of the precursor, I believe, to like roller coaster tycoons and all that type of things. And that's even bigger, but I'm saying like a basic carnival designer. Heck, call it Carnival Amico. What do you think of that? Anyways, no ice cream cowboys here. Just theme parks and design games for the Amico. Let me know what you think. I think this would be great for this platform. I think it would look awesome. It would be fun. I love these design and build things. Because it gets funny. It gets silly. Like I said, I made Poop World. What's wrong with that? <laughs> please like. Please subscribe. And let me know in the comments your favorite theme park or design games. We'll see you then. That back that we'll we see we need come back then. Ouch! Keep bumping into that wall. Whoa! <laughs> DJC sure gonna be mad at me. I did more time travel on the Merlin, and it won't work. Oh no. I swear I didn't mean it. What?